In this design, we utilize this waste heat to produce fresh water, so the temperature of the solar cell can be reduced by our design. Why would the world's most advanced solar panels need to learn how to sweat? At first, it sounds counterintuitive, but more sun should mean more power. Yet heat is actually the enemy. As panels get hotter, they lose 0.2 to 0.5% efficiency for every degree Celsius increase in surface temperature. In desert regions, where the world's largest solar farms are built, this adds up to as much as an 18% performance drop on the hottest days. It's a structural challenge that limits solar power, precisely where sunlight is most abundant. Inspired by biology, scientists now use hydrogels, materials that absorb water at night and release it during the day to mimic sweatings. Cooling panels passively, boosting efficiency and extending their lifespan. The future of solar energy may depend on panels that can sweat, so stay tuned as we uncover how this breakthrough could change everything. Why heat hurts solar panels? To understand why sweating panels are needed, consider the physics at work. Solar panels don't convert heat into electricity, they convert light. Beneath their surfaces, photons strike semiconductor materials, knocking electrons free. Ideally, these freed electrons and holes are funneled into junctions where they generate usable current. But when panels heat up, electrons behave more erratically. They bounce around uncontrollably, collide with other particles, and recombine before producing a charge. The hotter the surface, the more chaotic this microscopic billiards game becomes, slashing efficiency. This inefficiency compounds with time. The hotter the panels run, the more they expand and contract, causing mechanical stresses that accelerate wear and tear. Heat is not only a short-term efficiency killer, it is also a long-term durability threat. Measuring exact panel temperatures is itself tricky. Many studies measure from the back of panels rather than the sun-facing surface, where peak heat accumulates. Even so, researchers agree Cooling panels by just a few degrees yields significant energy gains. Active cooling versus passive cooling. One proposed solution is active cooling, similar to what powers computer chips and data centers, pumps, fans, and circulating fluids. The principle is simple, remove excess heat by force. But for solar power, this approach is self-defeating. Active cooling consumes electricity, often more than it saves particularly when panels are struggling in extreme heat. It is the equivalent of blasting air conditioning while leaving the windows wide open. Passive cooling offers a different path. No motors, no pumps, no electricity. Once installed, these systems can last for decades with little to no maintenance. For rooftop or utility scale solar farms that must operate 20 to 30 years under harsh outdoor conditions, that reliability is priceless. Humanity has used passive cooling for centuries in architecture. Thick adobe walls, shaded courtyards, and wind towers. But applying the same logic to delicate photovoltaics is a new frontier. Hydrogels, an old idea with a new role. The key lies in hydrogels, porous and permeable polymers, capable of absorbing vast amounts of water relative to their mass. Their history stretches back to 1894, when early chemists experimented with cross-linked polymers that could swell with liquid. Over the decades, hydrogels have quietly become part of everyday life. They appear in food products like gelatin, in agriculture to retain soil moisture, in medical dressings that keep wounds hydrated, and in super-absorbent diapers. They even play roles in winemaking and controlled drug delivery. For solar panels, a thin hydrogel layer applied to the back functions, like invisible sweat glands. At night, the material absorbs moisture from the air. During the day, as the panel heats, the hydrogel releases that water gradually, cooling the panel through evaporation. It is precisely the same biological process that makes humans among the most effective natural temperature regulators on Earth. 
Our sweat can dissipate nearly a thousand watts of heat under the right conditions. An astonishingly efficient natural mechanism now being borrowed for clean energy. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Thailand's Vistec Breakthrough. Among the first to demonstrate hydrogel cooling for photovoltaics was Thailand's Vidya Siri Medhai Institute of Science and Technology, Vistec. Their design lowered panel surface temperatures from a blistering 70 degrees Celsius down to just 47 degrees Celsius. That 23 degrees Celsius reduction translated directly into a 12.3% efficiency boost, a substantial improvement that could transform performance in hot climates. The brilliance of Vistec's system is not only in its cooling power, but also in its practicality. Competing cooling methods, such as phase change materials, PCMs, can weigh hundreds of pounds, adding prohibitive structural loads to rooftops and raising shipping costs. Vistec's hydrogel layer weighs only 11 pounds per square meter, about 80% lighter than PCM systems. For residential rooftops or massive solar farms, weight reduction translates directly into lower costs and fewer engineering headaches. Technically, the innovation rests on a two-layer structure. The first layer is a temperature-sensitive gate that opens when the panel becomes too hot, releasing water precisely when needed. The second is a high-capacity sponge, capable of soaking and storing large volumes of water. Together, they form a system that operates automatically, requiring no intervention, no electricity, and no moving parts. Head-to-head -head tests confirmed the superiority of this dual-layer approach over simpler hydrogels. The results were compelling enough that industry partners began early discussions on commercialization, an unusually rapid progression from academic lab to potential market product. Saudi Arabia's KAUST Innovation Meanwhile, researchers at King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia developed their own hydrogel system with equally impressive results. In desert trials, their design lowered panel temperatures by an average of 12.5 degrees Celsius, with peak reductions of 14.1 degrees Celsius. This translated into an efficiency boost from 13.1% to 14.7%, comma, or roughly 12.2% improvement. But the true breakthrough came in long-term performance testing. Kaust researchers did not confine their experiments to the desert. They installed hydrogel-equipped panels in upstate New York, a location with freezing winters, damp springs, and humid summers. While cooling gains were less dramatic in this environment, the extended trials revealed something even more significant. Durability. Panels treated with Kaust's hydrogel lasted more than 200% longer than untreated ones. This finding is transformative. Extending the life of solar panels slashes the levelized cost of energy, LCOE, or the average cost of electricity across a panel's lifetime. Kaust estimates that their hydrogel reduces LCOE by about 18%. In practical terms, this means cheaper solar energy without changing panel design or manufacturing. Even better, the hydrogel bonds so strongly to surfaces that it can be retrofitted to existing installations. Instead of replacing entire solar farms, operators could apply the hydrogel as a life-extending upgrade. Challenges and drawbacks. Although solar panels hold enormous potential, a number of obstacles still stand in the way of large-scale adoption. The first challenge lies in commercialization. It is one thing to design a promising material in a controlled laboratory environment, but quite another to scale it into full industrial production. Supply chains must be established, manufacturing processes refined, and reliability proven over decades. And history shows that many clean energy technologies struggle at this crucial stage. Cost is another factor. Even though hydrogels are less expensive than active cooling systems, they still represent an added investment. Utilities already operating under tight budgets may hesitate to take on additional expenses. And for homeowners, even modest upgrades can feel like unnecessary burdens. Longevity also raises concerns. Hydrogels eventually dry out, and repeated swelling and cooling cycles could cause them to lose effectiveness well before their promised lifespan. 
their ability to release stored water efficiently is not guaranteed, and some designs trap too much moisture to be useful. Finally, the question of environmental resilience remains. From freeze-thaw cycles to prolonged droughts and regional humidity differences, their performance may vary dramatically across climates. Outlook and economics. Even with these challenges, hydrogel cooling has reached advanced readiness. On NASA's scale, most systems qualify as level seven, proven prototypes in real world conditions. With K.A. Yast's multi-climate trials, some argue their system approaches level eight, commercial demonstration. Their economics are attractive. Consider a household generating 700 kW8 per month at $0, 15 kW8. Standard panels produce $105 worth of electricity. With hydrogel cooling, output rises to 770 kWh, or $115.50, a small but steady return. At the utility scale, the math becomes compelling. A solar farm generating 1 million kWh monthly could save $15,000 under ideal conditions. In regions with higher electricity costs, the gains are even larger. Combine this with doubled panel lifespans, and hydrogels present a powerful economic case. Final perspective. Sweating solar panels may sound like science fiction, but hydrogel cooling is no longer confined to laboratories. Tested in searing deserts and icy northern winters, validated by multiple research groups, and already attracting industry partners, the technology is edging toward market readiness. The central question is no longer whether hydrogels work, they do. The real unknown is whether they can be scaled, manufactured affordably, and made durable enough to endure decades of harsh outdoor exposure. If these hurdles are cleared, solar farms of the near future may not only glisten with sunlight, but also glisten with the subtle sheen of panels that cool themselves by sweating. Nature's most familiar cooling mechanism could soon become a cornerstone of renewable energy, ensuring that solar panels thrive under the very sunlight that powers them.